Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. For today's show, I have another trick to share with all of you, and it's a function that existed on the Galaxy Watch as well as other models in the Samsung lineup, but now you have a completely different way of achieving the same results on the Galaxy Watch 3, and I'm talking about how to take screenshots on your device. So stick around and I'll show you this new and improved functionality, which is basically like screenshots on steroids, although much safer and less angrier. Okay guys, let's jump right into it. Now you are probably already aware that you can take screenshots with your device. In fact, I made a video on how to do this last year, which involves using a sweeping side motion. Now there's only two downsides of this. First, you had to get it in a precise position, otherwise the photo wouldn't take or you would just end up opening something else. So it definitely took some time to get used to. And the second negative is that it only took a photo of what was on your display at the time that photo was taken. Meaning if you had information which required you to scroll to see the other pieces, then you had to take multiple screenshots. Well, on the Galaxy Watch 3 and the updated Tizen operating system, it's now a lot easier to take those screenshots and you also get some very cool and enhanced functionality built in. First, to take a screenshot now, all you have to do is just tap the back and the home buttons at the same time. The enhanced capabilities of the screenshot now come into play because if the screen that you're on doesn't have additional information for scrolling, such as the current watch face or maybe one of the widgets like the weather, then it simply just takes a photo of what you see on the display. However, if you have lots of information within your display, then now you have the ability to take one screenshot to capture all that information. So you may be saying, okay, that's pretty cool, but when and why would I ever need that? Well, if you're a fitness conscious person that uses your watch for tracking your workouts, then you're gonna love this because after you've finished an activity, you usually get a lot of data which requires you to scroll through to see it all. If you take a screenshot though, then you can capture all that information in one photo, which is easier in terms of managing your workouts and easier if you wanna share that information with a workout buddy. Now to view the screenshot, you just need to open your gallery, flip through and find that screenshot, and then you can expand the size of it by simply pulling the image with your fingers across the display. You also have the ability to send it to your phone if you prefer to manage your images there, or like I said, if you wanna share your results with a friend. Anyways, I thought this was a cool new enhanced feature, and I also fully expect it to be rolled out to other devices when the Tizen software is updated. And I've already had many questions from viewers as to when we may see a rollout, but if you follow Samsung's previous Tizen updates, it's usually within a couple months after a new smartwatch model is released. So assuming they follow the same schedule, expect an update later this fall. Thanks again for watching this review. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you all in our next video. Until then, take care.